Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all having an amazing day. And in today's video, I will be sharing five tips on how to socialize a scared or skittish rabbit. Guess what? Mario wants to make an appearance. So sorry for that distraction, but Oreo is literally right behind this camera and Oreo is my dwarf hamster. And it's about 10.30 in the morning while I'm recording this and she is usually never awake in the morning. So anyway, let's get back to today's video. And in today's video, I will be sharing five tips on how to socialize a scared or skittish rabbit. If you just adopted a rabbit, these tips will help you be able to bond with your bunny. Also, if you're a foster mom like I am, these tips will also help you bond with your new fosters. Definitely if you're rescuing a bunny, usually these bunnies have a past, really don't have a lot of trust with humans, and so it usually takes a little bit longer to bond with them and socialize them and just have them realize that we are not going to hurt them. So let's get straight into the five tips. So this is Guinevere and she is my current foster bun and she'll be featured throughout this video. She is generally very scared of being pet and of hands. And if you wanna know more about her, I did make an introductory video with her and I'll leave that link in the iCards above. So my first tip is to let them get comfortable with your presence. I did this by simply sitting inside her enclosure and reading a good book. The idea is to just let them know that you're not instantly gonna hurt them and that if you're there, it is perfectly safe. My second tip is to get down to their level. To do this, just lay down in their area. Since you are down at their level, you're gonna be a lot less threatening to them and they will come over to you and sniff you and try to investigate and to figure out who exactly you are. My third tip is to offer treats and veggies from your hand. Generally, rabbits have a very high food drive and it makes treats and veggies be a very high currency when it comes to rabbits. Feeding them these types of foods from your hand starts creating a positive association with you and starts creating that bond with the rabbit. My fourth tip is don't rush to pet their head. As bunny lovers, of course we're going to want to give our rabbit pets when we need to not rush this process. An important thing to keep in mind is that a rabbit's eyes are on the side of their head instead of in the front. So if you go directly to pet them, they're not even going to be able to see your hand. If your rabbit is very skittish, you can try just moving your fingers in front of their eyes, in front of their face, just getting used to your hand being there. You can also bribe them with treats and veggies, giving them a treat, giving them a stroke on the head and just creating a positive experience with pets. My fifth and final tip is to just be patient with building trust with your rabbit. This bonding process can take a couple days or a couple weeks depending on your rabbit. A key point is to just stay consistent and to continue building that trust and that bond. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, that you learned something new. And if you liked it, make sure you leave us a like. And if you haven't already, subscribe down below. And I'll see you guys in my next video. And remember, live life to the fullest.